Well, first I start making the salad by trimming my spinach. This was very large leaf spinach, and so I wanted to go ahead and get the little vein out of the center there. And I soaked them really good in some water. This is my first washing. And then I transferred them to my salad spinner, and I washed them again. I love a salad spinner. If you don't have a sal salad spinner and you have a garden, you absolutely need to get a salad spinner. <laughs> I have been using this for six years. Um, for three growing seasons each year and it is still holding up. So I just love this little gadget. So I'm going to go ahead and spin them the first time and then on the side there is the little break and then I'll discard the water that I had spun out of it. I'm going to toss them around a little bit more so I can get some more water off of them. And now the first time I used this, I actually used it during a YouTube video. I did not know there was a break there on the side. <laughs> so everyone helped me along in the comment section. They let me know that there was actually a break there to stop it from spinning. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tear down the spinach leaves to about bite size. And then I also tore in just a little bit of the red giant mustard leaf. Just three pieces. I didn't want a whole lot of that flavor. And now I'm going to drizzle it with about a tablespoon or two of raspberry vinaigrette. If you want that recipe, you can click the box here and make that yourself. And then I'm going to give it a light toss. I decided that that bowl was going to be too small to give it a good toss. It's really important to toss the greens very well. You want them all coated because we're going to let that vinegar kind of... Um, wilt the spinach a little bit so you want to make sure you get it all evenly coated so that's why I transferred it into a larger bowl and now I'll put it back into my salad bowl and I'm going to put a cover on it and it's going to stay like that at room temperature for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna make a topping for it. This is an egg white and I put one tablespoon of water in here and I'm whisking that down pretty good. I'm gonna add some raw walnut pieces to this um, and just let those soak for just a second while I get a coating ready for it which is about one quarter cup of sugar and about one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I also harvested from the garden some silver thyme the night before when I made my vinaigrette. So I tossed in a little bit of that with it. And now I'm just going to coat the walnut pieces with it. Just dropping those in there. I'm trying not to get all of the egg and water in there with it. Just try to get the walnuts in there if you can. Toss them really good. Meanwhile, my oven has been preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm going to just spread these out onto a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet, single layer, and kind of spread them out because we're going to bake these. We want them to get nice and crispy. Into the oven they go. And while those are baking, I am going to drain a can of mandarin oranges. And then I started to smell my walnuts, so you definitely want to check on any nuts that you ever bake because they will burn very easily. So I just put a little salt on them, tossed them around a little bit more, and I left them in there for about eight more minutes. You'll want to check on them and make sure they don't burn. Don't burn your nuts. <laughs> so now I'm going to assemble everything. So I put my salad back into my tossing bowl and I added some of the fresh lettuce that I had picked. Just giving that a good toss, making sure the lettuce is also at bite-sized pieces. And I am going to transfer it back into my salad bowl, and now comes the fun part. I reserved a couple of the pretty firecracker lettuce leaves there. And now I'm going to break apart my mandarin orange segments to smaller pieces. And then I'm going to put some blue cheese crumbles on top. and then the warm walnut pieces. 
my husband and I both agreed that the walnuts were the best part. So hopefully you can make sure you put those on your bowl. And you can use pecans too, but the walnuts were really good. That's what I had on hand. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you can try it.